Now, <coughs> now let us talk about the hydrogen uh, uh, HDNA, <laughs> not so hydrogen, but this is called the HDNA. Now, uh, what is this HDNA? This is an intramolecular triple helix can be formed by disruption of double helical structure DNA structures with polypurin sequences uh, uh, in mirror repeats. Now, uh, as we can, as we, uh, as I can see uh, this picture, so pictures illustrate really finely. As you can see, so this is uh, nothing but the H DNA is nothing but a triplex DNA or DNA with a triple helix structure. So it is a slight modification of this triple helix DNA. As we can see, this this is formed due to the in Intra, uh, inter the hydrogen uh, inter uh, 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 strand interaction, intra strand interactions like that. So what we can find in this case, as we can see, uh, so these are the two common, uh, as, as we can see, common hydro uh, DNA. So you have five prime uh, here, the green, and you have the three prime of the green, and you have a three prime here and a five prime of something like this here. So here we have something. Here this is another five prime. You can say now what happens. This is uh, the straight DNA molecule, as we can see. What can be possible that uh, the, this DNA molecule, uh, due to the some structural stress or something like that, from particular region, it can be bended. So where from where it is bending, uh, here is, is the joint which is shown shown here, which is the joint between this blue and yellow colored uh, ring, uh, yellow colored uh, length, and from here this is the this is the bending, and from here on. Uh, so so this is the same strand as we can see as we can follow from here the three prime five prime strand we can see this is the same strand and the same strand is bending so if I follow this strand uh, from here li like this so here we have the same strand it is coming down and down and down up to here so as you can see up to here in the previous times we have two strands interacting together like uh, we can find in common DNA but whenever uh, w the strand is bending start to bend then e here is another extend the extension of the strand it start to coil with the double stranded DNA so it is a previously double stranded DNA and now the same stretches of DNA uh, which is a yellow in color or denoted with yellow in, in this picture start to interact with this double strand DNA so this is another single strand will interact with this double strand to make a triple strand of DNA as you can see so this part of the uh, total DNA structure this region of the total DNA structure uh, we find three DNA three DNA strands are uh, winding with each other to make this triplex structure. As I have told before, the whole stretches of DNA is not made up with this triplex DNA structure. In few part, in some region of the DNA, we can find this structure. So in this case, the making of this HDNA, uh, we have to have a bending in DNA structure. So the bending is really, really important to make this kind of structure. Now, if we look at the molecule, molecular level, or the, the less uh, complex of the schematic presentation, we can find that from here on we have a bending, and after the bending, so this is this is the line of three prime DNA that we can follow from uh, in this previous picture. So here we have in this bending. Now this bent DNA start to interact with this previous DSDNA. So this is the DSDNA. This is the SSDNA uh, I've talked before. They will interact to make uh, the strands, uh, this triple helical strand, what you can find here. Th this region is a triple helical strands. Okay, so that's why, uh, uh, as we know, this triple helix can be formed not only by interaction of two DNA, as we've seen before, uh, that that we have two DNAs, and this part will come here, and in this uh, second picture, so here we have some structure like this and this so here we have the triplex DNA not only here on the triplex DNA can be formed but also using same DNA strand that you can see here the sli uh, using slightly bending of the DNA strand we can form this kind of triple helices and this kind of DNA is called the HDNA and this DNA is being formed because uh, because of the intra strand interactions okay so that's it now, what are the functions of this HDNA? As you know, this uh, polypurin, uh, as you can see in this case, most of the time this d this kind of DNA is formed uh, due to the presence of the repeated sequence, like you can see AG, 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 AG sequence like that. And you have CT, CT, CT. So it's a repeated sequence of polypurin, as you can see in this place, AG, 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 AG. So that is a remarkable feature for making this hydrogen, uh, this HDNA. So two things, one, we uh, three things actually. One is uh, it's a uh, interaction between Intra, uh, str intra uh, strand uh, of DNA. Second thing, it, it we have to have a bend to make this kind of structure. 
third thing it has it is not made it throughout the whole structure of dna it can be found only into a particular stretches of dna fourth thing we need to have a, a polypurine residue if i delete all this all this inks here now you can see we are having a polypurine residues here which is ag 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 in the opposite we have the poly uh, pyrimidine residues to inter to interact together to make a structure like this so if we n we are not having a structure of polypurine and polypyrimidine here the this kind of dna cannot be formed so that is another important assumption now this uh, this potential triple helical regions are especially common near sequences involved in gene regulation so that's why the the formation of this hydro uh, this h dna sorry this is not a hydrogen dna this is h dna uh, th th that is really really important it has been proposed that h dna play a role in rna synthesis too but it is proposed only uh, much more research has to be done on this particular topic but uh it has been seen in several different occasions that uh, this h dna can be found largely uh, in uh, in uh, the common places where we have the sequence in, uh, involved in gene regulation most importantly in case of uh, eukaryotic cells now uh, we can also find this h dna in the initiation and the termina termination uh, points of replication and you can also find them in recombination as we, as i have showed you before okay